Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Squid Junction 41. Everybody, we have winners finals up next with Captain Happy Crew versus Dream Lantern, and I'm here with the one and the only Genie. Oh, Matt, thank you so much. I am so excited to be back here for Squid Junction. I was here for 40, back here for 41. Couldn't miss it. I'm so happy that we got both semis here. Our first match is going to be Zones on Museum to Alphonse, you know. Alphonse Spino, as I might like, I sometimes call it. It is, this is such a hectic zone map because of the angles of the zone and how you dance around the pillar. If teams have chargers, we can kind of notice a different aspect, but with Charger falling off, off a lot compared to what it, it's once reigning supreme, either strong strength weapon that it was in the first week of the game, this map plays a lot different and it's a lot faster. Yeah. And I'm just going to correct myself. This is actually winner semis. Oh, uh, yes. I'm just going to correct myself real quick on that one, but it looks like we're jumping right into the game. Starting off on Zones Museum. Very interesting map, to say the least. You know, you have that tower in the middle, just kind of how, like, Inkblot Zones is. And we do see some very interesting comps coming out from both teams. We do see Kiwi coming out with that stamper for the side of Dream Lantern. And we do see a Rapid coming out from the side of Captain Happy Crew. Yeah, the Rapid, Rapid Inkjet Torpedo. An interesting combo. I want to see what they're going to be, what kind of value they're going to be able to get with it. To get its long-range poke and chip damage out. It's not really known at getting a lot of kills really, really quick, so it is a lot. And already starting off right away, Captain Happy Crew taking the zone, popping the crowd, trying to get whatever they can, but it looks like he's getting pushed back by that rapid, but it looks like they're trying to go for that flink there, but it looks like it's not gonna work there, so Splash is just gonna overpower it, and Captain Happy Crew, if we get the first picks onto the zone, just charging up crabs for the next push. We do see Captain Happy just kind of staying put, trying to watch out for any flanks, and there's the flank from Kiwi, and the Crab is caught from the side of Dream Lantern, and they are going to try to push in now. Yeah, there's a lot of specials on the line. They got a Booyah Bomb ready. The Rapid is gone down for Captain Happy Crew. They got the Stamper as well. Zone has been capped for Dream Lantern. That's going to be three down, and pretty much every single special is used for Dream Lantern. So they're going to have to hope to hold on here with just pure raw skill. And holding on to this zone is going to be hard for them to do. Already the Crab getting popped there, but they are going to go down there. We do see that Rapid trying to get rid of that machine is really key to winning right now they are going to be able to take the lead though they have the jet at the ready and they have the ink strike and we do see kiwi and then the splash going right Ooh. up there but kiwi gets taken out there and the splash goes down and that's going to be huge now two down on the side of dream lantern and this might give uh Ooh. this might give captain happy the chance to push but Philly gets two in that situation oh sorry they only got one they're able to get a trade out with a nice azuka Captain Happy Crew. They are so hard reset right now. It's just gonna be ice in the zone trying to pop those tri strikes. They need to stay alive because if they die here, their jumps are gonna not be gonna safe and there's no time to come back in. They're trying to stay alive. They do. The teammates able to support them. Two are gone. Dream Lancer are falling. All of them are gonna be gone if the machine doesn't get out in time and that's a wipeout. Insane distraction from ice and insane stall to allow Captain Happy Crew to stay alive in this match. And now they're taking control, and we do see three of them pushing right up to their plaid. They're able to pick up the hero shot, and now they just have to watch those flanks. The crab about out from Dream Lantern, and they really have to charge up the specials here. The rapid goes down there, and we do see Stan on that stamper, waiting for the flanks to come down there, and they are able to get the pick off the hero shot, and there's slush going down. And now with three down on the side of Dream Lantern, Ooh, and that's good. Oh, they're gonna get that jump, but they are, Kiwi does get the pick. But with the clock ticking down, Captain Happy Crew able to keep a stable put on the zone. Yeah, gonna have to hold on just for a little bit longer. Letting that rapid do its chip damage from the from a little bit of range. Ice those goes down in a trading scenario. That's good. Yeah, Captain Happy, if they can get this crab tank up really quickly, that would be insane. But they go down in a trading scenario to Kiwi. The zone will be capped for Dream Lantern, allowing them to stay alive. Both teams trading lethal blows back and forth. And now we do see Kara on that splash, ready to just charge up their crab and get whatever picks they can, just painting up. Make sure Ice has nowhere to paint for those triple ink strikes, but they do have them at the ready. And those two specials are going to be huge for Captain Happy Crew to push back in here. And, and the crab goes out there, but the stamper goes down. And they are trying to paint those zones with the triple ink strikes, but they are able to keep it. We do see Kaden trying to push up on their flat, but the Rapid going to get that trade there. And two down on the side of Captain three. Happy Crew. No, three down. And that's going to be huge. And it looks like Dream Lantern could take lead here. It's going to be good if Captain Happy can't, doesn't hasn't anything to say about it. They're trying to paint up. 
They see Caden in a fight. They have to be pushed back. Ice trying to run for that zone. They neutralize it at one, but they need to get these jumps punished and they need to cap the zone here and now. They need to stay alive and they don't. They don't paint the zone. Dream Lantern steals the game. And that was a clutch from that splash on Dream Lanterns. They were able to paint that zone so quickly and just not allowing Captain Happy Crew to win the match. And that's going to start off our set really strong for Dream Lantern. Yeah, they, the way that they were able to not really stagger themselves when they came back in, allowing themselves to play zones extremely well. I know I'm breaking down just basic zones, uh, like high level zones mentality, but it's important because I oftentimes see even in my games, it's just going in staggered one by one, allowing themselves to get a good footing and get the advantage and punish the aggressive players. They went in, cleared their corners, capped the zone back with the specials that they needed, but they didn't use all their specials. And in doing so, they were able to stall that last fight. Getting some jumps in at the end, when the zone was at one uh, on the side of uh, Dream Lantern, was good because Captain Havoc Crew, they had to run in there. They had to neutralize it. But um, those jumps from Dream Lantern, they came in and they painted the zone. They played objective and Captain Happy Crew, they were playing, playing for kills. Yeah, and playing for kills, you really have to be careful because if you're playing for kills, you're not focusing on objective, which is the main point of these games. It's objective-based game modes, and if you're just going for kills, and even if you're three down, you still have that one sneaky teammate, especially on Rainmaker. If you're three down, but your last teammate has that Rainmaker, and they just somehow sneak past all the defenses and take lead, it's really hard to come back from, and they really need to be careful, and they need to be playing aggressive here. This map is definitely just a map where if you push in fast, you can get some huge points on the board, especially once you clear checkpoint in that inkable spot. And it looks like we're going right in, and we'll see if those teams are able to do this in Rainmaker, Ilto, Alley. This is a very, very fast map. I feel like this one's gonna definitely, definitely, uh favorite dream lantern with their, their comp but i want to see uh what quando can do on on that rapid because it's a pick that i don't don't usually see at all and this is more of a linear map so these weapons like isis gal in the rapid can be really huge even stamper can be really huge on this map here and we do see kara popping that crab right away trying to get whatever picks it can making sure captain hackbait crew has nowhere to move but we do see stan getting that pick on kiwi and it looks like they're gonna have to be fighting off against Kara, but the double and the Ooh. triple from Kara is gonna be huge! And they're going for Captain Happy, but Captain Happy takes him out just in time. That could have been huge for Dream Lantern, but Captain Happy is not letting it happy, happen easily. That's crazy, because Captain Happy was able to get, I'm pretty sure they got three as well. Because when Kara was going in and get got three, Captain Happy was the last alive, taking out all the members, getting the jumps through, allowing that, the, the rest of their crew to, to really stay alive. A point I want to focus on is Caden's Zuka. Zuka's not a, one of the best specials, but on this map, it has a lot of usage because it's so this map is so narrow. It can really do a lot of damage. Yeah, let's say that. Let's just say days. that the Bruh. double from the crab is going to be insane here. And we do see Captain Happy pushing right up. And they're able to clear that first checkpoint from Captain Happy Kira. And the jet is out for support. Kara goes down. And with that one down, it looks like they're popping the Rainmaker. They're trying to. And there goes that. There goes the machine. That's going to be huge there. Ice pick up that Rainmaker. Two down on the side of Dream Lantern. They're able to get a bunch of points on the board. Ice just staying alive. Just going in there. Wow. And Kara able to pick them off. But able to get mostly past that unequal area is going to be really good for Captain Happy Crew. Oh, around that, that pink cushion is insane. That is That pink cushion is all of your, your, your friendships along that unequal. So getting 19 is absolutely insane. Ice is going to try and go for, for wall play. And they are going to be able to grab it down to 16. A little bit of a misplay there from Dream Lantern. They wanted to probably get that out of there a little bit faster so they didn't lose even more points. They do get an extra few points, which is going to be huge because this means that Dream Lantern has to clear that uninkable area. So they have to be careful on how they push here. And Kara just getting distracted by the Stamper with the Zip Caster, but it looks like Rainmaker resetting. Stan just barely seeing alive there, but going down there, two down on the side of Captain Happy Crew. It looks like Dream Lantern might be able to paint up there and get a push started. Oh, Ice is able to get one from the side angle, but they do go down. That, the, the Rapid is also falling again. Dream Lantern, this first checkpoint looking mighty fine, but the Crab Tank shutting them down right here and right now. I'm showing that it's still an insanely strong special if you don't if you don't just like put all of your resources in the counter. 
Yeah, now that they have that crab, they're gonna try to get whatever picks up they can here. They're trapping the pack in that corner there. The Zipcaster trying to take down the Rainmaker, and they aren't able to do it there, but the Whale coming in is gonna do a bunch of damage to the Rainmaker. But Caden staying alive, but they might get picked up by the Rapid here, and the Crab here, they're oh, yeah. super low, and there they go. They're gonna get picked up by Ice here. And with three down on the side of Dream Lantern, that's gonna be huge for Captain Happy Crew. They're able to reset, get some turf on the board, and block them from getting that Rainmaker, which is gonna be huge. Because Kiwi has to try to get whatever picks up they can to get an opening, but it looks like Captain Happy jumping with that Rainmaker right away, and they're gonna try to push it even further into Dream Lantern's base. It's looking good for them. They've just gotta watch out for the Stamper and the Splash. Those Burst Bombs are running down, but they can only come down Salt for so long, all the way down to the 12 for Captain Happy Crew. Minute 30 on the clock. The, the pop is mostly gonna come through, but can Isis Splash will protect them while they go across the unmakeable? No, they're gonna back up. Kiwi's coming in the back line, trying to go for some flashes, but they're gonna be punished out by Stan. Zipcaster's gonna go through, but the Rainmaker, it's still exposed. I wonder if Captain Happy Crew could run, make a run for it here. I don't think they will. It looks like the Rainmaker is going to get reset, in which is barely a minute on the clock. This is going to be interesting to see how Dream Lantern can really come back from this. Because they don't have that much time on their side there, but they could get whatever picks that they can here. We do see Kiwi getting taken out, so that's going to be huge there. The Rapid able to stay really strong there with three down Dream Lantern is getting really stuck here. But they have already cleared the checkpoint, so if they can get some kind of wipe or three down, that could be a really huge opening for them. This Raymaker, it's trying to go. They want to get some more points, but if I'm Captain Happy, I would just want to camp it maybe over here on this right side. It's a it's a better better position to stall it out. I know their teammates have fallen. Like if you can just hold that pain control of mid, that would be good. But they're they're staggering. They went down one by one by one, slowly but surely. And the Lion Dream Lantern get all four specials pretty much online. Ice. Ice shutting that down really good. Ice will be able to shut that down, but they're also getting stuck in there by that Rainmaker and the wall isn't able to protect them. With 10 seconds left, it looks like we are heading into an overtime. They aren't able to get stand, just trying to get the pick on the Rainmaker, but they aren't. But Kiwi going down is going to be huge there, and they don't have that much time left as they picked up that Rainmaker early, and they are going to get taken off, and that's going to be game two going to Captain Happy Crew, tying it up one to one. Yeah, the, the zones game was very, very close. Both teams could have taken it. This Rainmaker game, Dreamlander didn't have an like any answers. Captain Happy Crew, they their comp just stepped up superior. The Gal plus the Rapid, it that's uh, something I might want to ask my team to start running on this map. My goodness. Right, going in there, they were able to use the weapons to their advantage. Stamper being, I I, I believe Stamper could be better on Yilto than on Museum because it's much more, uh, it's much more linear. But they're able to take that game. Captain Happy Crew was able to push so far into their base so early on in the first minute and a half. Pushing it all the way down to 16 was huge. And then after Dream Lantern cleared the checkpoint, they weren't able to get any more points there. And Captain Happy Crew just dug that Rainmaker into their base down to 12 remaining. And they just were not able to come back for that. And as you said, Captain Happy Crew able to just keep up that aggression and just keep on getting whatever picks that they can not letting kiwi get any picks on stamper is going to be huge and if they can just if they can just keep doing the same thing that they did here it did on yield tail on undertow which is another map a little bit more linear so stamper is good on here rap is also good on here so if captain Haviku can really just get their momentum and get those fast aggressive pushes that's going to be huge especially because right the tower control is another rainmaker game yeah, I I'm just looking at this whole this whole series. Yeah, the, these the three middle maps look like good rapid maps on paper. So if I'm Captain Happy Crew, I'm I'm feeling pretty confident with with, with the picks that they they've been blocking and what they're going to be going. But they gotta they gotta watch out because at any point in time, this map can snowball out of control due to the fact that the first checkpoint is borderline free. It is it is so so right so there. Good. Yeah right there and then you're just able to push right into the base so tower control on this map is going to be very interesting to see how these two teams if captain happy who can keep up their aggression and just keep pushing in it's going to be huge for them and we do see the crabs being popped from ever the machine going oh, down there double. and two down on the side of dreamland and three down and captain happy crew is able to start off the push captain happy was able to get three assists or at least three kills with that crab tank I saw the egg, the explosive shots plus those those big fiery bullets coming through, 
and they did so much damage that if they didn't get those those spots, they the team had helped them out so much. The second checkpoint, the specials are ready for Captain Happy Girl. They could really snowball this if Lan um, uh, Dream Lantern isn't careful, but they've got three down. This should be good. Able to stop them right before they clear that checkpoint is huge because they're gonna have to go through that all again if they really want to push in further in the base. But Dream Lantern will not let them have this one easy, and they are pushing back super fast. And they have that buoy bomb at the ready. It looks like they're about they could be able to clear that checkpoint, but Stan coming in here to clean them up. They are able to get checkpoint one before going three down. But this is huge for Captain Happy Crew because they can easily just dig the tower back into the base. And it looks like they could just be camping out that stamper, which is going to be huge for their machine going in, trying to get whatever picks that they can for Dream Lantern. But Captain Happy Crew keeping up the aggression, making sure they have paint, it's going to be huge to lead to their success. Dream Lantern played that so smart. They baited uh, uh, Kiwi's landing there on the stamper, uh, but they ran all the way back in the mid. Captain Happy Crew had two members looking at that landing, so all of mid was like uncontested, and no one was. No one was already pre-painted it, so that allowed Dream Lantern to get back here. And look at their defense. They're already back in mid when Captain Hacker, Happy Crew could have easily started pushing this tower to the second deck point. Really kind of waiting out that Booyah Bomb, but they do get taken out, but able to get the trade in the end. And it looks like Dream Lantern is going to start pushing here. Captain Happy backing up. And now they got to charge up their crab as they're pushing to that second checkpoint where Captain Happy Crew really left off there and this could be a chance for them to take lead looks like they're all really distracted here but stand trying to get whatever they can but billy takes him out and that's two down on the side of captain three down on the side of captain happy crew and dream lantern is able to push up the tower and that's going to be huge for them this stamper on the right stand's going to be looking to be taken out by Caden. Caden trying to look for the shots can't quite land them the, the tower is rocking forward for dream lantern they're rolling through this if they can get the spots here and now that would be insane. The tower is not moving. That's going to be pushed back, and I think Captain Happy, what's going on, are going to be able to come through and take out Kara. And Kara does fall, but allows her teammates to have some jumps. So Dream Lantern, their hope is not quite done yet. Then getting taken out there, Dream Lantern is just continuing to put points on the board. Down to that third checkpoint is huge. Kiwi just going in right for eyes. What a jump! That was incredible, and the tries you could coming out there, and there is another white for Dream Lantern, and they can pick up that tower again, and this is their chance to pass third checkpoint and really push that tower deep into Captain Happy Crew's base. Yeah, they're gonna have to go really quickly if Captain Happy Crew want to get to this tower. They're gonna have to go here, and now no, it's gonna slide across one member alive for Dream Lantern, making this series deadlock go in favor of Dream Lantern. Era just able to to just stay on the tower for the for those last three seconds, confirm the win for Dream Lantern, and Captain Happy Crew has to be very careful because if they want to win this, they need to win these next two games. I feel like they can. This Rainmaker game, we showed they showed how dominant they were in Rainmaker. Both teams pushed tower control pretty darn close to the third third checkpoints. Both teams pushed it all the way down in, in into like single digits on splat zones the rainmaker game it was not close dream lantern didn't did they even break for a checkpoint matt i don't uh, even think they did they did oh they, they did. did so Wait. captain happy crew the, early on they pushed down to 49 almost almost completely past that second checkpoint but they did get stopped right at the end oh, yeah. and then dream lantern was able to push up that power and with the wipe able to clear the second and third checkpoints confirming their win and captain happy crew they just kind of staggered especially because if they just stayed on that tower for another second they could have gotten gotten some extra points on the board but able just getting stuff right before that checkpoint ends is really huge and it's going to be interesting to see what they can do because they need to win this next rainmaker sturgeon map if they want to get a chance into grand finals yeah, uh, winners at finals because we are still oh, in winner semis. Team, we jumped the gun. Both you and I jumped the gun previously, so <laughs> we're we're still used to jumping the gun. We're we're a little ahead. Normally, normally we don't start commentating until winners finals. So, getting to watch both semis is is quite the treat for us, the viewers, and uh, or us, the commentators, and you, the viewers. Lots of good action. And right away, we do see some action happening on the board. Two down on the side of Dream Lantern, and this is a chance for Captain Happy to push up that Rainmaker. And we do see another go down there. Stan getting a trade here. 
but it looks like they're pushing up that Rainmaker. They're going right in there. The crab on the snipe is insane on that spinner, and Kara's crab gets shredded instantly. Ooh. But Billy able to take up that crab there just in time. Stop just stopping some real damage from happening. And it looks like they're just barely trying to take out that Rainmaker. They're so low on the Trizuka coming in there to finish up the job. And not being able to get past the checkpoint can be huge. But we do see Stan. Just that shark. He was amazing. Taking out Caden. And now Two. getting the trade on the machine is going to be huge. Because now Captain Happy Crew can try to pick up their Rainmaker and go forward. They're going to try. They can try it. They do have that Zipcaster ready for defense. But no, two down, two go down on the side of Captain Happy Crew. It looks like they're gonna back up there. Not a super far push in. And the Dream Lantern can easily take over the map. This is going to be huge for them. Oh my goodness, Kiwi. I didn't think that was an angle that was possible. Stan punishing that, but that's okay. I got to see that, and I'm gonna use that in my next X rank game. That was such a mighty fine zip cast from the high ground. I didn't know the Stamper could reach that far. Dream Lantern, they have the Ramager and they are starting to get some points on the board. Looking to get this first checkpoint would be really nice for them. With three minutes left on the clock, first checkpoint being falling for them, if they could do it here, that would be insane. Able to clear it. It looks like they're able to pass that checkpoint before being taken down. Two down on the side of Captain Happy Crew. And they are pushing right into their grab that Rainmaker. They're able to go right onto that spinner. Able to try to pass Kiwi, but it's not going to happen. But they're able to get some super huge points. And able to pass that checkpoint is going to be huge. And Captain Happy Crew has to do something to take out Kiwi. Because Kiwi has been getting some great picks with the Zipcaster combos. So they really need to be careful on how they deal with Kiwi. Because they just keep getting those picks. And I start getting triple team. Three down on the side of Captain Happy Crew. And this is going to be scary for the Dream Lantern. Is just able to keep up that aggression. Yeah, and this is match point, by the way. A any more points for Dream Lantern would be devastating for Happy Crew. 42 is a, a strong lead on, the, on this map at times. This map can, can really go quickly, though, if you're not careful. It's also able to be stalled out. Oh, Stan, I thought you were going to that suction bot, not gonna lie. <laughs> I would have too. I would have done that. Two down on this with Dream Lantern. Keep we going down there. This is a chance for Captain Happy Crew to pick up go. there. We go stand um, right on that spinner. Painting up is going to be huge here. They're just trying to paint up whatever they can here. Charge up that Zipcaster, but we do see a plane coming in here. But they notice it just in time to try to take care of it. But they haven't taken care of it. And Stan goes down three down on the side of Captain Happy Crew. And Dream Lantern, perfect defense from them. Able to keep it alive and able to stop Captain Happy Crew from getting any big points on the board. Yeah, this is looking really good for Dream Lantern. They've been playing this game so much better than they played the last Rainmaker game. I feel like just how tight Eel Tail was just proved to be a little bit too much for them. But now Caden Zuka's are also finding everything that they possibly need to, and Abby's crowds they're just not able to land as, as much as they truly, truly want to. As soon as they go high ground, they've either got a machine or a, a Zipcaster, a Stamper, or even a Zuka coming at them. It just, you can't find any space. And now we see the Rapids getting taken out there and now they're really starting to panic here and they, there goes ice ice getting completely overrun there the zipcaster coming in there distracting them whatever they can there and it looks like ice gets taken out by kaden and this is gonna be huge captain happy crew only have a minute to think of something in the rabbit able to take down the rainmaker captain happy popping the crab but this is gonna be risky for them because they won't have that crab ready for the push i think but kiwi gets taken down there this is a chance for captain happy crew to really they gotta, the rabbit has to live in that situation. It's so difficult though. Caden able to run through, get one. Can they find the Rainmaker? No, they can't. Remove so stay able to stay alive. Aisha's killer whale is going to be able to find out where the remaining two members of Dream Lantern are. And I think Captain Happy's gonna be taking this on those left side so they can get that checkpoint. But it didn't get painted. The Rainmaker shot kind of went through. If Captain Happy is able to stay alive, they will. Good. If they can get this pop because that Rainmaker shield is is in their favor, never mind. It's not in their favor at all. Dream Lantern holds strong. Ewe. If you just saw Kiwi just fought off that 2v1, and with that 2v1, they basically just confirmed the game. And nice. yep, they're taking yeah, the Rainmaker no. back, and that's gonna be game. But that, I, I, but I did, I don't even know if everyone saw that. But Kiwi just took a th a 2v1, and w they were able to do that and completely get all of Captain Happy Crew's members off that Rainmaker and just confirm that win. And with a 3-1 win. Uh, it looks like I I I I, I kind of zoned out for a second. Yep. Dream Lantern will be moving on into winners finals. 
Yeah, Dream Lantern, that game, they had their game plan for Rainmaker that they did not have in the in the first time we played Rainmaker on Eel Tail. Here on Surgeon, they were completely, uh, they had the better push. Their defense looked good. Their defense on Eel Tail was borderline terrible. It, it did not look good. This one looked a lot more like a, like a top level competitive team and showed why all these members of these teams are, are really, really strong. But with that, we do have uh, Soccer Moms versus Dream Lantern in our winner's finals. And we will be taking a quick break just so we can, uh, us the commentators can reset and we can get the uh, match updated for you. So do not go anywhere. Enjoy your points, everybody in Twitch chat. And we'll see you after this short break.